This is the story of Tiny Tina Tootie. Tiny Tina Tootie was a very little girl, but she was very clever. The reason they called her Tiny Tina Tootie was because her Tootie was this big. She was terribly, terribly small, but had the arms and the legs of a full-grown adult. One day, Tiny Tina Tootie was walking to the market when she came across a flunderbutt. Now, you all know that a flunderbutt is not human. A uh, flunderbutt is a mix between a butt and a large tuba. Very large. Very, very large. It's actually um, part uh, fluffer nutter and part pork butt. It flunders and butts as it goes to market. The flunder butt blocked Tiny Tina Tootie's way and said, Tina? Tiny Tina Tootie? You can't cross the flunder butt. <laughs> Poor Tiny Tina Tootie was so frightened. She went temporarily blind. And then she got so scared that she farted. And she was tooting and tooting and tooting. Tiny Tina Tooties. She couldn't help herself. But Tiny Tina Tuna. But Tiny Tina Tootie was an ingenious child. You know what ingenious means? Just below genius. It means there's a genius inside you. It means she never wore skirts and she only wore pants made of denim. So, Tiny Tina Tuta. <sighs> so. Tiny Tina Tootie picked up a sparkly rock. And she jammed it into his eye hole and she twisted it. That made the flunder butt smile. And so, Tiny Tina Tootie... <laughs> and so, Tiny Tina Tootie got to go to the market after all. As she skipped down the lane, she sang her favorite song, Pickety Pickety Poo. Pickety Pocket Poo. Tootly Tootie Too. Pickety Pockety Poo. Boop Pickety poo Pickety pickety poo The flunder butt is goo. You know you've got to do what the other people tell you. Tootly tootly too. I love you. And that's the end of the story. Now go to sleep.